ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. This is Tactical Tuesday, and we are playing Shadowrun Returns. This is a game I picked up on the Steam Winter Sales, and I have no idea if this is going to be awesome or suck. If we are, we are rolling dice here. I just have no idea. But I, I adore the Shadowrun world. I play the tabletop game. Please don't suck. Please, please don't suck. All right, so I, I guess our first campaign. Oh, that's what this is. Okay, the Dead Man's Switch. Acquired, yep, in, in the urban sprawl of the Seattle Metroplex. The search for a mysterious killer sets you on a trail that leads you, that leads from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful megacorps. You will need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. All right, so I guess this is the first campaign we can run. So, okay, for those of you that don't know anything about this, um, oh man, how do you, you know what? No, just go read up on Shadowrun. It is stupid complex. This is like, from my understanding of the story, and it's not always as complete as I wish it was, after this huge event, magic became available. Or well, um, just became, you know, a thing. So now there's elves, there's ogres, there's just everything you can imagine. And so the whole world kind of went through this huge, I don't want to say cataclysm, but uh, catastrophe sort of thing, I guess you could call it. And then, since uh, the megacorps, you know, really took over mostly, what happened is there are now shadow runners, and that's uh, that's what shadow run and that's what runners are called. They are people with various amounts of skills. They're essentially mercenaries, and they they work kind of you know off the grid sort of you know they they, they slip through the cracks is the is the theory. So let's find out how this is gonna roll, shall we? Oh, cool. Game creation. Uh, well, Griffin is female. All right. I'm going to read these just because it's actually kind of cool. So humans were the only race on Earth until the Awakening. That's, I couldn't remember the name of it. The Awakening in 2012. Now they find themselves the definition of average or even normal. They are still the most populous race in the world and thus control many of the most powerful, moneyed, and important positions in society. All humans have plus three to karma to start the game. Max stats is body nine, quickness nine, strength nine, charisma nine, intelligence nine, willpower nine. They are generic. Then we have elves. Many people, especially other metahuman races, see elves as the most fortunate metahumans. They are more attractive and socially acceptable than the other metahumans. Elves are taller than humans, but have a more slender build. Their hair is usually thicker, longer, and more luxurious than average, and their ears come to a point. Elves have plus one to charisma. Maximum stats, body nine, quickness 11, strength nine, charisma 12, int nine, willpower nine. Then we have dwarves. Dwarves are the shortest of the metahuman races. To compensate, their torsos and shoulders are wider than their size would indicate. They're stocky, essentially. Thus, their strength is equal to, and sometimes greater than, the larger races. A side effect of their metahuman nature is increased resistance to pathogens and magic that attacks from within. All dwarves have plus one to willpower, max stats body 11, quick 9, strength 12, charisma 9, intelligence 9, willpower 11. Then we have orcs. Orcs are the fastest breeding race and now are second only to humans in world population. Their size leads to an intimidating silhouette and a body that can take more physical damage than average. Orcs have pointed ears and intimidating teeth or tusks. They, all orcs have plus one on body, maximum strength, body 14, quick 9, strength 12, charisma 8, intelligence 8, willpower 9. And then trolls. <laughs> trolls are the largest metahuman race, heavily a heavy prejudice against them has led people to assume trolls have lowered intelligence, but in reality, there is no proof to this. Trolls have pointed ears, intimidating teeth, or tusks, and many have horn-like outgrowths that other metahumans do not manifest. All trolls have plus one to body, plus one to strength. Whew, yeah, I forgot. Plus, the body is 17, quickness 8, strength 8, charisma 6. Yeah, that's where they really... Intelligence 6, and willpower 9. Well... You know what? 
I think I'm gonna roll with an elf. So then there's archetypes. And I, I, these are these are actually cool, so I'm gonna read through these again. Uh, street Samurai. The Street Samurai is a freelance operative who follows a code of street honor. They are learned in the ways of traditional samurai warrior and in the practices of modern combat. Samurai scale their skill, sell their skills for profit and work to take out the dishonorable scum that seem to breed in the urban sprawl. Key attributes, body and strength or quickness. Key skill, close or ranged combat for both. Throwing weapons and dodge, probably not where I'm going. Mage, oh. Mages specialize in the casting of spells, but that doesn't mean they can't shoot guns as well. Rather, magic is the center of their life. Their spells reflect a pure balance of the mana sphere and cover a wide range of magical effects from offensive damage attacks to character augmentation or degradation spells to healing spells. Key attributes willpower, key skills, spell casting. Deckers. Deckers use a cyber deck to jack into the matrix, the worldwide information grid and computer network. By projecting their minds into the electronic world, deckers can find secrets others keep hidden. They use programs and expert systems to fight off the protections that mega corporations place in their way. Key attributes, intelligence, key skill, decking, key specialization, expert systems. So there's more to, it's not just the internet, it's actually evolved a lot. Now, one thing is there are overseers to the matrix and if you do too much, they will come down and just like hammer you. So, all right, keep going. Shamans. Shamans believe that their magic comes from Magic come from a great totem spirit that guides their life path. Bear, cat, coyote, eagle, or raccoon. Shamans' relationships with their totems allow them to summon spirits and command them to do their bidding. Shaman have the skill to conjure spells that mages cannot. Key attribute charisma, key skill spirit summoning, increasing the skill grants a shaman a totem benefit, and conjuring. And we have a rigor. Riggers use cybertech to jack their minds into and control small robot-like vehicles called drones. Riggers use their rigging ability to provide surveillance, support, and extra firepower when required. So they require intelligence, drone control, drone combat. All right. Or none. If you feel comfortable with your built-in shadow run, you may create your own character by mixing skills and attributes. All right. Oh, physical adapt. Adepts are magically active characters who focus their magic internally to develop their utmost potential. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, as adepts unlock new abilities, they become honed physical machines, using their magic to enhance their close combat abilities. Key is body strength and willpower. Key skill is chi casting. Um... Alright, so... Actually, let's see, I mean, Deckers can do pretty much, I mean, they need intelligence. Anybody, I mean, a, an elf would make a good street samurai, but I don't think that's really what I wanted to go. Uh, let's see, they have a high charisma too. So, let's see. There could be a shaman. You know, I've never actually played a shaman. I mean, I was thinking I was going to be a decker. I don't think anybody really has a higher intelligence than an elf. So... You know what? I'm going to go with decker. Let's, oh, creepy. Hmm. I'm trying to, eh. you know what? That works. Continue to stats. All right. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma equal to the next increment of that rating. Thus, improving your body from 4 to 5 requires you to spend 5 karma points. 
You have some cargo available now to customize your character. All right, I have five available karma. So where do I want to put it is, is the question. Strength, intelligence. All right. I mean, I went with uh, decking, so. Okay, so I bumped up my intelligence one. Spread systems in the matrix. There we go. Alright. So that bumped my int up one. I didn't get to... Unfortunately, I'll have to... I'll just have to keep going. But that got me biotech, which gets me health points. So, probably going to be important. And it's, I usually try to bump primary stats whenever I have the chance, so let's hope I didn't suck at this. Choose an etiquette. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette that does not cost karma, and each etiquette can only be chosen once. Um... Well, what's my background, essentially? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna be a shadow runner. Many runners use a street name, handle, or working name. Names like Half Jack or Lady Z. Others stick with their given name or adopted nickname. Well, duh. Griffon. Let's do this thing. Down and out. Your apartment, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and it isn't on fire. Nice. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now it's all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're not Nova hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for ages. Slagging, a f slagging fixer hasn't called. Oh, fixer is a job finder for you, by the way. The money's run out and then some. Sinless and free, free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your new end. I don't think I pronounced that right, anyway. Something needs to change, and soon. Your apartment, 2054. It's 3 a.m. and you've got nowhere to go but down. Alright. So, let's, let's go, let's go see what this is all about. A slip of paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Your notebook, calendars, contacts, that kind of thing. Your, your contacts. The list is sad, dried up. Carter, Detroit, fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, runner, dead. Fulton, Nash, fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, Probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Halfjack, dealer, retired or dead. The list goes on. All either dead or just plain... All dead ends are just plain dead. Your personal calendar. It's empty. Nothing to do. Wow. You need jobs. Answer your vid phone. Well, I want to take a look at this real quick. Your computer broken... State of the art. All right. Your computer. State of the art in 2050. Broken since 20. Wow. Sam Watts. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against this brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. Hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again. Or worse. Ah, crap. I have the worst fixer ever. Shouldn't have given you my comm code, gonk. You're zoned. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. Shit! Another one! When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. 
So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Ren Raku run? When things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Doubt. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Wow, so, dead. Maybe he wasn't a fixer then. Oh wait, no, he was the fixer. Oh, three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. Aww. Sangoma. Sangoma is an urban shaman who proved her worth during a run against Fuchi last fall. She's the quiet type and experienced runner. We're out in the open here, Griffin. Uh, ready to bolt. Our fixers owe us for the run and for Dowd. We wait. Late for another appointment, Sangoma. Your call. Probably the wrong call. Basic med kit. Oh, thank Bob. I'm gonna need that. Anything else around here? Yeah, this is definitely a makeshift saloon. I'm guessing I can't go any farther? Nope, none for me. Alright. I'm just trying to get used to the... Purge the metahumans. Awesome. Good to know racist is still alive and well. Alright. Might be able to get in there later if I have to. Alright. Oh, that's going to provide some nice firing for somebody. Somebody who's not me. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Run. Okay. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo <laughs> and a bad attitude. He knew Doubt almost as well as you did. Doubt. Never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. Wow. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Griffin. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. Shut your screamer about the rain. We lost a man tonight. We wait for the money. I get it. Now take a pill and relax. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. Oh, greed is good. Ah, there's Sam. I don't know, Griffin. Sam is a good guy and could hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run, so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunway. Sunday, yeah. <laughs> now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? That bastard better show. We need the money. What do you think we should do? Oh, smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This is supposed to be a public place. Cut the dreck, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say. Don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. Own up, Sam. If you screwed up, admit it. You've been drinking, Sam. That true, Sam? Did you miss a beep out there? Uh... No, Griffin. I, I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time, remember. I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. Something dawns on him. He le leans in to New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Ren Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. 
New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over his shoulder into the darkness. Ah, oh, fuck. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? Hands where I can see them, asshole. How much did they pay you to sell us out, Larry? He stops and a smile slowly appears on his face. Honestly, it didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland and set up with a Cush Corp job. I'm out of this racket. Asshole! We've got incoming! New Larry relaxes and throws you a dreck eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're gonna make that take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Griffin. Uh at least we have each other. You'll miss me when I'm gone. Alright. Leave the mage, kill the others. Ow! Uncalled for. Oof. Crit. Ouch. Dick! Alright, turn-based combat. You are now in turn-based combat mode. Each character on your team has an action pool. Spend those these action on movement, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your team turns team's turn is complete, the enemy turn will move and attack. Okay, pretty basic there. Additional tutorial information is available from the reference guide, which can be accessed in the upper right corner of PDA. Let's let's take a look here. Basics. Camera. Select move character. Zoom in, zoom out. Click and hold to pan. Okay, so that's how you pan camera. Camera settings can be accessed in options. Free, available to pan around the map. Locked, main character is fixed on the map. Auto, able to pan around. Camera snaps back during character events. Shadowrun uses an autosave. Progress is saved at the start of each level. Loading a game displays the most recent save file. Alright. AP affects how far the character can move. Out of combat, to move, hover the cursor. In combat, your stash can be accessed before a level begins or at... Seamstress's Union. Okay. Uh, combat 101. Targeting. Hover the mouse over the target. They will be highlighted in red if selected. Fire and click the target. Okay, so it's click to attack. Area of effect. Cover and healing. Shield icons. Indicates both the strength and direction of cover. You will automatically take cover when in position. Okay, cool. Alright, that gives me basic. I can read more of this on my own time. Oh! Oopsies! Okay. So Sam is wounded. Let's... Get him behind some cover. And let's take a shot at new Larry. Because he's an asshole and we don't like him. Alright. I'm trying to see... I mean, do I have ranged? That is the question, isn't it? That's two action. Alright. So I seem to be stabby. Alright, so I'm gonna go up here. What the? To the face! And unfortunately, as I am, you know, that's just what I do. Focus fire is your friend. Damn, I was kind of hoping to kill him. Oh, but she didn't have to move. Nice. Alright. Wow, you're not shooting for the person in the open? That's kind of. What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, well. To the face! Do it again. All right. There we are. Wow, these guys are not very bright. Oh, okay, that was reasonably clever. All right, go deal with that thing. All right. So, let's jump you up to cover here. 
And you look like you have more body. Alright. Nice. Oh, there's another one. He doesn't look friendly at all, does he? Oh, crap. Wow, I guess I failed that throw. Alright. A shaman and a mage. Let's... Let's see. Frag grenade, med kit, dock wagon, basic trauma kit, med kit. Um... Alright, you know what? 65% chance. Let's hope for some love. Suck it. Out of ammo. That's unfortunate. Oh, spray and- <laughs> spray and pray. Nice! Uh... Reload for one. Yep. The, in the interface is actually fairly intuitive. I cannot complain. So what's your other option? Aimed shot. Single bullet, one shot. Increases the accuracy. Nice. Okay. But, yeah. Take it. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's pissed off about that one. Oh, Weak. I wouldn't have done that if I were you, but what do I know? Yeah, apparently Stabby is the only thing I, I really do right now. Which is really not what a Decker is supposed to be, but... Alright, I should have a decent shot on him. Oh, missed. Unfortunate. There we go. Sangoma lowers her gun. I Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. Part of life, Sam. You know that. You did good. You don't look so good, Sam. Uh, he, he looks like he's hurting. You were born for this gig, Griffin. Me? Not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Think I'll find a better class of people to hang out with? Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. I'll find a safe house out of town. Lay low. Renraku has a long memory. Yeah. I do too. I don't forget my friends. Aw, poor Sam. I'm vaguely pissed he's dead. He seems like a nice people. You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memories. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking us myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So, I set up a dead man's switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new yen insurance policy, payable when you find who, cre who creased me. Ah, alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain when the job is done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet? Lawyer. Okay. The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watts' wishes, Rogers, Mengert, and McCain has installed a secure, dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera switches back or swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously. First time. Look, Griffin, I've led a Drek life and probably left a Drek corpse. I've hurt people, hurt myself, I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I say I've traded a drinking buddy for a paycheck. Ouch. I say my schedule's pretty clear right now. 100,000 new yen buys a lot of drinks. I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. Hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Guess I'm heading back to Seattle. Rest in peace. Sam, see you in Seattle. Well, Seattle can't be any worse than this. 
Sí, en Seattle. The Dead Man's Switch. Your plan plane hits the sea ta sea tac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped back seat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders, a legal chop shop for body parts. Nice. Whether from the living or the dead, if you're hurting bad enough for Nguyen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest the thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and assaulted by the smell of death, death and bleach. Well, alright, we're actually going to call it there. I am super thrilled this game does not suck. I'm definitely going to keep going with this one. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I I truly recommend reading up on Shadowrun cuz I'm I'm terrible at explaining lore on the fly. So hope you guys are enjoying. For now, that's it. This is the Gaming Griffin signing off.